everyone and welcome back to Patty's Path where you journey with me on this path towards our highest version through spirituality, self-development, sisterhood style, surfing, and traveling. So for this week's video, I was gonna make like a script for it but I think I just wanna come from the heart or just say what's on my mind recently because I've been going through a lot of changes and I know we go through changes on a daily basis but I'd say the months of October to November there were just a lot of major life transitions that I had to go through which is why I want to talk about this today and that is how to be gentle with yourself when you're going through it or when you're going through a lot of changes in your life right now. So as I said, this is kind of going to be like a chill vlog wherein we just check in with each other, where I am in life right now, kind of serve as a journal entry already of when I look back at this, what was I going through, so yeah. So I don't really like to share so much on social media, like yes I do share on my stories but then it's just really the, the tip of the iceberg. like. Only those who watch my YouTube videos would actually know what's on my mind recently, what's been going on. So when I say these recent changes or transitions that I've been going through, basically, I had to move out of my current apartment in La Union. And honestly, I didn't see myself moving out of that place because I really love my current apartment. It fit everything that I needed in a safe space. It was my first like own apartment, like big girl apartment. And so I really loved that place and I didn't want to move. But it came to a point wherein my, let's say the management of the place was really bad and the closest of my friends would know how badly I was treated by the management in that apartment. So I was left with no choice but to move out because the building wasn't getting maintained anymore. So what was I to do there to create a safe space when the whole building was crumbling down? So I really needed to find a new safe space. And with me not anticipating this in my whole like La Union journey, it kind of shook me to the core, like shook my groundedness, my feeling of being so rooted in my root chakra because it was a lot and it came in a way that I was really shocked and I felt like I needed to do something about it right away. So with the whole thing happening, I felt this sense of like, wait, why is there so much happening right now? I didn't expect this to happen. But that's the thing about life, like change will come at you even if you try to avoid it. Like you really have to face these changes no matter what because change is what keeps life going. So anyway, back to the story, yeah, like for the whole month of October, I was really going through it um, besides dealing with some emotional things on the side. And most of this came from the fact that I was and am still grieving the passing of Liam Payne. I grew up as a big directioner, so when I found out about what happened, it just sent me into a spiral of depression. But mainly this whole moving out thing took a toll on me because I was like, damn, like my own safe space that I built for myself, I had to move out. So it took a whole month, the whole month of October for me to apartment hunt and Honestly, my friends know how much I went through, like how much crap I went through just to look for a new apartment, but I'm happy to say that I found my new safe space and leave an eye to those who have bad intentions, but I'm really excited to move. But while I was going through it, I kind of found myself being hard on myself. Like, I want to be a very positive, everything always works out for me person and I know that's etched in my brain but when I was really going through it, I was like, damn, I don't think I have any hope anymore like, is my story in La Union about to end already? Like, am I even gonna find my own next safe space? So I really lost hope and that is so normal when we're going through changes like, even if we know that we're so self-assured, like we got this you can't help but also think like, do we really got this? Like, am I actually gonna be okay after all these changes, you know? And that's the human aspect of us. And I was just reassuring myself that although lots of changes are happening, always, always in the end, it will work out. Like everything definitely happens for a reason. 
so that whole month of like October and even up till November with some other changes especially regarding my love life yes I still am single but there's just like a lot of changes that made me realize that I'm finally like fully free like I'm fully single and wanna really pour all that energy onto me or even like pour that energy onto me to the point that it overflows and that I'm ready to love again so I won't like dive into that but just a lot of changes in my life whether it be my home situation love life or even family and so going back to the topic of being gentle with yourself when you're going through changes or when you're going through it I think this is just me like talking to myself like giving myself advice in the hopes that it also helps someone who's possibly going through many changes in life as well we all know we are in the burr months like october september october november months and there's this topic of the october arc you know like the october canon event and definitely it it was true for me like a lot of changes are happening right now so this is me kind of just like talking to myself like hey girl here are some piece of advice that could help you and maybe help someone else out there so number one piece of advice on how to be gentle with yourself when you're going through it is to have a safe space so i was just talking to my company like my team members about this about having a safe space and how whether it be a physical safe space or an emotional safe space when it comes to surrounding yourself with people it's important to have a safe space because it allows you to be a hundred percent yourself it allows you to be vulnerable you feel like you're validated when you're in a safe space and having a safe space allows you to navigate these changes these hard transitions in life knowing that you have like a safety blanket specifically let's say a certain group of people that are there to guide you or be with you when you're going through these major changes so for example for me um, having a safe space because my actual physical safe space was affected during these changes i had to rely on me being a safe space for myself reassuring myself but at the same time i'm so thankful and grateful to god in the universe that i have a small circle of girls women who uplifted me during those times that i was really down on myself when i was trying to figure out the move out process when I was really going through it, when I discovered that things were just badly happening with the management of my current apartment. My girls, my women, they were just there to validate my feelings. And not that I need that validation from an outside source, but they kind of felt like a karamay, which is like an ally in Filipino. Having an ally beside you makes you feel more empowered, especially when you're down in the dumps, when you're going through changes. So to recap, yes, have a safe space, whether it be people or a physical environment, so that you will feel grounded and supported and allow yourself to be vulnerable when you're going through tough times. The second piece of advice on how to be gentle with yourself when you're going through it is to be so grounded in your root chakra. So what I mean by this is grounding practices like breath work, work with crystals, meditation, yoga, affirmations, or even subliminal. So I'll dive into that a little bit now. So the root chakra for those who are into spirituality, it's basically your first chakra. So chakras are energy points throughout your entire body. And this is your first chakra and it's located at the base of your spine. And I'm just gonna read a description of your root chakra here. So the first chakra called Muladhara is located at the base of the spine. It means root and is associated with the earth element linked to your ability to dig in and feel firmly rooted in your life. Its associated color is red, hence it links to the earth. This energy center is associated with your sense of security, familial relationships, and your feeling of home. When energy is flowing through the first chakra, you feel firmly grounded in yourself and the world around you. So when I say to be grounded in your root chakra, 
it's as if you have to work on this energy point of yours whenever you're going through changes because you know how when you're going through changes like moving out or basically experiencing many things in life your root chakra feels affected or it becomes blocked because you don't feel rooted in yourself or your emotions are all over the place you just basically don't feel within yourself you don't feel grounded you feel erratic maybe and it says here you may even feel increased distractibility rushing from one task to another feeling lethargic feeling symptoms of anxiety stress depression feeling stuck and the inability to take action and honestly yes that was what i was feeling when i was going through it last october when I found out that I needed to move out because I was just not being treated well. There were days where I was like, do I even have the motivation to do anything when I know my root chakra is affected right now and my sense of groundedness is so affected? So it was very evident that my root chakra was affected at that time. So what do you do when your root chakra is affected? As I mentioned, you can practice grounding practices like yoga, meditation, breath work, affirmations, subliminals, and the like. And honestly, most of the ones that I mentioned are for spiritual people or those who would want to try that. And I do encourage you to try that. But whatever a grounding practice may be for you, try it out. Maybe it could be journaling for you or talking to a friend or making a little nook or corner wherever you are just to make you feel at home. Anything that makes you feel at home, I recommend that you try it. So going back to the breath work, working with crystals, meditation, yoga, and affirmations, these are what I do. Um, I can link some videos for some good breath work and meditation videos down below in the description box for you to check out. These videos have helped me so much and I hope it can help you too if you're going through so many changes right now. Yoga also helps because it means being attuned to your body and what it's feeling right now, feeling grounded in your own, you know, human body, so yoga definitely helps. And this little last piece of advice for this topic is the affirmations and subliminals. So if you're a close friend of mine, you would know that subliminals and affirmations have been my my secret tools to get me through the past, I'd say, years. Like, for me, believing in these subliminals really helped me and I can link some again down below for grounding subliminals, but they've helped me throughout times that I felt really ungrounded. Affirmations as well really help. So affirmations are basically words, phrases, or sentences you can say to yourself to affirm yourself that, for example, I am safe, I am grounded, I am able to make a home wherever I go, stuff like that. So it's basically like giving yourself the reassurance using the right words and phrases. So to recap, working on your root chakra will help you feel more grounded and be more gentle with yourself when you're going through major changes. So the third and last piece of advice is the art of detachment. And what this basically means is remember that this is all just a human experience. And I've mentioned this quote before in one of my old videos, but I want to reiterate it again because it's so important to remind yourself this, which is we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience by Pierre Teilhard de Chardin. And I hope I said that right. I hope I said his name right. It's um, French, I believe. I'm not sure. But basically, this quote is telling us that let go of your attachments to worldly things. Like, let's say with me, my attachment to my current apartment, it was really strong. I mean, I really love that place. But for me to remind myself that this is all a human experience, nothing really belongs to me. Um, whatever is given to me when it's good, I appreciate it, but it's not truly mine because it's just a human thing that I'm experiencing. You get what I mean? So yes, the art of detachment. Basically, let's say you're going through a breakup and you have a strong attachment to 
another person and that's so understandable because you are human we are made evolutionally made to make attachments with other humans but at the same time when you know it's not meant for you you just have to detach and thank it for what it was but let go of it to make space for more blessings to come in your life and I think that's something that really resonated with me, um, especially with my love life. But yes, the art of detachment. Nothing is truly yours. If it's good, let it come in. And when it leaves, allow it to. Because this is all just the game of life. And you know, holding on to things, whether it be good or you just have a strong attachment to it, even if it's toxic, it's not gonna allow you to change and be a better version or the highest version of yourself, you know? Keeping these attachments, it's understandable as humans, but allowing yourself to detach, let go without ego, and just allow these changes to pass through you, happen to you, it makes you become a better version of yourself. It makes you it makes you evolve, you know, because holding on to things, people, situations, places. It's just gonna allow you to keep repeating cycles, but if you let go of it, it allows you to evolve. You know, it's either you repeat or evolve. And who wouldn't want to evolve into a better version of themselves, right? So yes, that's a way of being gentle to yourself, just allowing for things to happen and not having so much attachments, remembering that this is all a human experience and everything will truly work out. You just have to believe that. What's meant for you will not miss you. And remember that the universe, God, they always have your back. And so to end this video, here are some affirmations that I tell myself and maybe you might want to hear it too. So here we go. I honor my feelings and give myself the time I need to adjust. It's okay to take things one step at a time. I don't need to have it all figured out. I trust in my ability to grow and adapt even when change feels overwhelming. I am deserving of compassion and understanding, especially during times of transition. I am patient with myself as I navigate this new chapter of my life. I allow myself the space to feel and heal knowing that change is part of my journey. I embrace uncertainty with kindness knowing that everything unfolds in its own time. I release self-judgment and replace it with gentle self-acceptance. I am resilient and each day I am becoming stronger in handling life's changes. And last, I am learning to trust the process even when it feels difficult or uncomfortable. And that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I think this is just a message to myself too and to you who's watching that just remember everything will work out. The universe and God have your back and that what's meant for you will not miss you, okay? So I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this type of content, give a like below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!